Ever wonder what body type science considers the most attractive? Is it about being ripped, lean, muscular, or something else entirely? In today's video, we'll break down exactly what science says about the most appealing body type in fitness and how you can achieve it. Stay tuned to discover the seven key factors that define attractiveness and learn what body composition and shape are favored by evolution and modern studies alike. To understand the most attractive body type, we have to look back at evolution. For thousands of years, survival was the main focus of our ancestors. Traits that signaled health, strength, and vitality were naturally favored, which means that an attractive body type isn't just about aesthetics but survival. Studies have shown that muscularity, especially in men, is often seen as a sign of strength and protection. While women's attractiveness has been linked to a balanced waist-to-hip ratio, which signals fertility and health. The fitness industry has capitalized on these biological cues, but the ultimate body type that triggers attraction is rooted in millennia of human evolution. As we'll see, it's not about extremes. Being overly muscular or too lean may not always align with what's considered biologically attractive. Symmetry plays a critical role in perceived attractiveness, and this applies to body type as well. Studies show that symmetrical bodies are seen as healthier and more appealing. This is why balanced proportions in muscle distribution, think broad shoulders, a narrow waist, and well-defined legs, are key factors in what makes a body attractive. In fitness terms, achieving symmetry means focusing on a balanced workout routine that develops all muscle groups evenly. Too much emphasis on one area, like chest or arms, while neglecting others can throw off this balance and reduce overall attractiveness. Both men and women can benefit from training that enhances natural symmetry to create that golden ratio appeal. When it comes to body type, the waist to hip ratio is an essential element, especially for women. Studies suggest that a ratio of about 0.7 is considered the most attractive as it signals health and fertility. In fitness, this means emphasizing core training and maintaining a lean waistline while still building strength in the lower body. For men, a low waist to shoulder ratio, where the shoulders are significantly broader than the waist, is often viewed as more attractive. Achieving this ideal ratio can come from targeted exercises like squats, deadlifts, and ab workouts. Nutrition also plays a key role in fat distribution and the ability to maintain a lean, healthy body composition. The goal is to enhance natural curves in women and create a strong, tapered physique in men. While being muscular can be attractive, there's a balance to be struck between too much and too little muscle. Research shows that a moderately muscular body is generally preferred over the extremes of being either too skinny or overly bulky. This means your goal shouldn't necessarily be to achieve a bodybuilder's physique, but rather focus on a lean, toned look. Exercises that promote hypertrophy, muscle growth, without excessive bulking, such as moderate weight resistance training combined with cardio, can help you achieve the perfect level of muscle definition. Remember, it's not just about muscle mass, but about sculpting muscles in a way that enhances your body's natural proportions. When it comes to attractiveness, having an extremely low body fat percentage isn't always the goal. While a lean physique is often linked to fitness and health, being too lean can actually backfire in terms of appeal. From an evolutionary standpoint, a certain amount of body fat signals that the body has the energy reserves necessary for survival, reproduction, and overall vitality. Extremely low levels of fat, on the other hand, may indicate malnutrition or excessive physical stress, traits that are often viewed as unhealthy and unattractive. For men, the optimal body fat percentage for attractiveness typically falls between 10 to 15%. This range allows for visible muscle definition without appearing too lean or emaciated. It strikes the perfect balance between showing off muscle mass while still maintaining a healthy, robust look. For women, the ideal range is slightly higher, around 20 to 25%, which maintains curves and gives a healthy athletic appearance. These percentages are seen as the most attractive because they suggest optimal health and fertility. What's key here is sustainability. Dropping to extremely low body fat levels might make you look shredded, but it can come with a host of downsides, including hormone imbalances, low energy, and increased risk of injury. 
Instead of chasing extreme leanness, aim for a body fat percentage that allows you to stay fit, strong, and energized. Combining strength training, cardio, and a balanced diet will help you achieve and maintain this optimal range, ensuring your body looks and feels its best. The takeaway? While being lean can enhance your appearance, going too far can have the opposite effect. The goal should always be a healthy balance of muscle mass and body fat for both aesthetics and long-term well-being. You can have the most sculpted body in the world, but poor posture and a lack of confidence can quickly diminish your appeal. Studies indicate that good posture and the way you carry yourself can enhance how attractive others perceive you. Strong posture, standing tall with your shoulders back, can make you appear more dominant, fit, and confident, which are all traits associated with attractiveness. Incorporating exercises that strengthen the back, core, and glutes can improve your posture. Additionally, cultivating self-confidence in how you move and present yourself can elevate your physical appearance. Lastly, it's important to remember that attractiveness is subjective. While science provides guidelines on what body types are generally considered attractive, personal preferences and cultural differences play a significant role as well. Some cultures may favor a more muscular build, while others might lean towards a softer, more curvaceous look. In the end, it's about finding what makes you feel confident and happy in your own body. Fitness should be about achieving a body type that you're proud of, not just conforming to societal or evolutionary standards. Tailor your training to meet your goals, but remember that beauty ultimately lies in the eye of the beholder. So what's the most attractive body type? According to science, it's all about symmetry, muscle tone, healthy body fat levels, and most importantly, confidence. Use these seven essential tips to guide your training. But remember, fitness isn't just about how you look. It's about feeling strong, healthy, and confident in your body. Keep training smart and the rest will follow.